thanks supriya uh, really appreciate taking time and we are happy to be part of this sessions um, pwc obviously as you said needs no introduction uh, it's a big four organization one of the largest professional services in india and globally uh, as you might be knowing we celebrated just 150 years in india and we operate in three main domains uh, audit or which is called assurance tax and advisory and within advisory we have uh, consulting uh, deals which in other terms we'll talk about mer- mergers and acquisitions and uh, risk consulting so this in a gamut is what pwc stands for in india as well as to other clients more background to my your earlier question uh, we stand around 25000 plus people in india today uh, in fact if we include the other service and uh, delivery centers it it will cross about almost 40000 people in india uh, which makes us one of the largest in the professional services delivering uh, large scale transformation across uh, sectors uh, across domains and um, what we can say that we can clearly say that we stand apart from the rest of the others we is an end to end transformative journeys that we take which may include uh, working in the taxation domain one working in the mergers and acquisition domain and in the pure play consulting domain uh, just to give you another more perspective a uh, couple of months back in 1st of july we actually integrated our entire consulting practice together which means our management consulting technology consulting comes together in go to market creating solutions uh, like the finance transformation hr transformation customer transformation and for um, uh, digital enterprises as well as other areas like automation and data analytics so in an in an overall pr- perspective we have made our go to market very clearly on the domain of what the customer demands uh people knew us predominantly as an audit and tax uh professional organization uh, over a period of time that is still important but what we have garnered more interest in this uh part of the world is core consulting and the consulting in terms of end to end transformation from strategy to execution across sectors and the go long sectors are like industrial products automotive uh, retail cons- and consumer space technology media and telecom and health industries so these are our go to ma- sectors and this actually helps us apart from many other uh, professional services working in this domain in this country and um, just to give you a perspective that we our when we reorganized our our go to market strategy this year we looked at customer centricity and made our solution cluster towards the towards helping solve customer problems and to that effect if you have look, if you look at the vision statement of uh, pwc today it's about sustained outcomes and measurable outcomes that we are we are measuring about so that gives us an edge in the market to look at customer not just as a, a point solution but look at creating solutions which helps the consumer give, get the end state our relationship with sap is actually more than two decades um if you remember a part of our um, working in india uh, we were one of the largest sap solution providers uh, prior to our uh, breaking away and uh, acquisition to ibm that was way back in 97 and post that uh, we came back very strong sometime around 2000 and we became one, we are now one of the largest uh, not just a system integrator for sap but we uh, we are one of the largest consulting firms operating in india uh, with a wide spectrum from core erp to procurement transformation to hr transformation to customer transformation 
uh, as well as finance transformation. So these all entire gamut of services that we render uh, actually makes our relationship with SAP one very compelling to customers to look at and, and, and a combined entity as well as look at from, from strategy to execution um, go, to, um, go to partner. We wanted to we are actually tabled this as trends in the customer transformation area that we have looked at and we, when we interviewed a uh, few hundred customers across the globe as well as in India uh, some of the things that have come out very distinctively and which has helped us in grouping our solutions towards that is uh, looking at increased leadership focus at customer uh, experience part of it it's no longer a uh, uh, good to be have or better to have kind of things but it's uh, the leadership even at the customer level the CXOs and in the CEOs are extremely uh, focused towards um, getting the customer experience right at the beginning and every time uh, second is um, improving digital maturity if you looked at um, post COVID and post pandemic the the maturity of a customer when they look at the digital enterprise and the digital services that we rent that any organization render this has gone through a s amount of change which is phenomenal in the last two years so obviously the digital maturity within the organizations as well as how the customers customer expect them to behave has also increased the disruption that has happened because of new tech new business propositions that has come in across sectors uh, many of the times the startups have actually helped uh, regroup some of our strategies as well as the customer strategies to look at uh, the disruption more as uh, looking at new age solutions so that is the third aspect that we have looked yeah. at in the customer as a success matter known many of our clients today don't look at uh, as i told you before is not just a good to have or a better to have kind of thing but it's a measure of success today uh, and it is not just the NPS score that matters, but how does it translate into your balance sheet? Is increasing focus on environment, uh, sustainability, and governance. Um, in every sphere of our work that we are doing, the consumers or the customers are asking for how do we impact the environment? How do you sustain the environment? And how, how well is the governance framework that we go and give it to? Nothing is uh, out of the table but you have to have that as an ESG focus in every solution that we render and then they also render the same thing to their own customers is the omni channel customer experience whatever they get in a brick and mortar channel to the digital channel to your sales channel everything has to have one digital experience and that's that's what's predominantly going coming out in every discussion that we have Combine all these questions that you have uh, and the answers that we have got from our uh, CEO survey and our CXO surveys, uh, we have grouped ourselves in, into seven buckets of how we look at customer experience or the customer transformation areas. Uh, we look at say which is the traditional sales and service transformation, the sales acceleration part of it. How do you drive more growth uh, from, from any parameters that you look at, that's one parameter that we look at. The second parameter is uh, customer insights and that's extremely important to look at how your next best solution is going to work. How do you help your sales and your service team to work on some of the nudges? So this is uh, the second parameter that uh, the aspect that we look at. The third is what we call as customer retention and, and value, the CLTV, the customer lifetime value. The, the third element to it, the fourth element is marketing and marketing automation. Uh, the fifth element is service excellence. Um, the last, the, the pre-final one is the omni-channel or e-commerce or direct to consumer. Last but not the least, uh, what we are propagating and I don't think too many people in the market do propagate is the subscription model or what we call as anything as a service. We believe and we firmly believe that in the next couple of years, um, we will see a huge focus of many of our customers uh, looking at product as a service 
or for the matter anything as a service so that we believe is our go to and most innovative solutions are being built on that so in that aspect we have this seven elements we have looked at as customer experience customer transformation absolutely sure uh, some of them we will name because where we have some reference and we have agreed to have those names referred um, but we can tell you a spectrum of what we have worked in the couple of years um, when we started off it was purely managing sales and service so we worked in 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 the domain of consumer durables where we helped in service excellence for many of our consumers in the consumer durable space uh, then we as uh, and then at that point of time we had um, the pandemic which hit us and that's when we regrouped and we uh, rediscovered the way of new customer transformation along with some of our customers and we embarked upon a journey which is not just crm which focused towards inside sales and your sales organization but look at the digital transformation of of an external party to the customer so we brought in commerce and that commerce platform actually helped in looking at not just your organization from inside but also look at uh, people outside so we brought in a b2b consumer uh, commerce Uh, in in a in a client called Tata Hitachi, and that's where they started selling spare parts and services through an an omni-channel digital trans platform. So that's the bedrock of where we started off. After that, we moved into selling steel on on an e-commerce platform in an organization called ArcelorMittal Nippon Steel. Uh, that also these are both of them are referenced clients for us. and um, they have won accolades and awards in the industry for the kind of transformation that they have embarked upon slowly we moved into uh, what i told you as a subscription model we looked at um, one of a large tire manufacturer uh, industrial tire manufacturer looking at um, tire as a service so that's another and again built on the commerce and the crm platform uh, we have done um b2b commerce for consumer durables we also have done uh, the first of its kind b2c or direct to consumer work in a large retail organic retail company in in delhi and um, as we say we are working on multiple large transformation programs across large enterprises spanning across industrial products uh, across tire industries across autom- automotive across consumers across retail and i am firmly believe that the path that we embarked upon uh, is really showing us the results across sectors and it it actually touches all the seven elements of our customer uh, led transformation work that we are doing with sap